The tunneling sector reports a mixed bag of issues and trends as the world reopens and work resumes. Factors include aging infrastructures, climate change concerns, filling labor shortages, a general lack of funding, the need for equipment that can handle larger diameter tunnel work, and Elon Musk. Some of the biggest news for tunneling and construction companies in the United States was the recent unveiling of the American Jobs Plan from President Joe Biden. This $2 trillion infrastructure scheme is aimed at creating jobs and rebuilding the country's sagging infrastructure. Las Vegas Loop Elon Musk's Las Vegas Loop transit system finally opened on April 9. The $52.5 million project consists of twins and eight-mile-long tunnels that utilize Tesla vehicles to transport Las Vegas Convention Center attendees from one end to the other. The system, built by Musk's underground construction business, The Boring Company, originally called upon the use of a TBM from Canadian manufacturer Lovat Inc. But Musk has debuted his own TBM, the Profrock, which he claims is designed to tunnel at a speed of more than one mile per week. According to The Boring Company, TBM Proofrock launches directly from the surface and can begin tunneling within 48 hours of arrival on site. The Boring Company claimed, Proofrock is designed to construct mega-infrastructure projects in a matter of weeks instead of years. The Boring Company's proposal for a beach-to-downtown tunnel in Fort Lauderdale, to be called the Los Olas Loop, has just been accepted by city officials. The tunnel would stretch for two five miles and is likely to cost between $10 million US dollars and $15 million US dollars per mile. With the total expenditure dependent on whether there are two tunnels of one heading in each direction. Kogera Arncliffe Tunnel will push ahead with a $193 billion US dollars motorway tunnel between the southern Sydney suburbs of Kogera and Arncliffe although doubt remains over a future extension south. Australia had signed a contract for Stage 1, which involves tunneling 4 kilometres between President Avenue in Kogera to the WestConnex motorway in Arncliffe. Construction on the twin tunnels will begin in early 2022 and be completed by 2025. When you build a project like that, you're going to obviously cause enormous disruption, and we've got to work through that. Clearwater Project to Protect Laws Local Waterways The Los Angeles County Sanitation Districts on April 15 unveiled Rachel, a state-of-the-art Herringneck slurry TBM that will build a new effluent tunnel as part of the Clearwater Project. The Clearwater Project is the result of a multi-year planning and environmental review effort to ensure the reliability of the Los Angeles County Sanitation District's main sewer system, which serves more than 5 million people. This system's largest wastewater treatment plant uses two tunnels, which are over 60 years old, to convey cleaned water to the ocean. The planning effort identified the need for a new tunnel to ensure the reliability of this critical part of the sewer system. The new 5 5 meters diameter 11 kilometers long tunnel will address concerns about the integrity of the existing tunnels, earthquake resilience, and capacity. Tunneling will start this summer and finish about four years later. The seven mile tunnel will be constructed by a Herringneck slurry single pass TBM, beginning at the JWPCP shaft site entry shaft and ending at Royal Palms Beach exit shaft to protect local waterways by addressing aging infrastructure. The tunnel alignment will vary in depth from approximately 15 meter to 137 meter below the ground surface. Large Scale Sustainability Project in Central Europe The 64 kilometers long Brenner Base Tunnel will become the longest underground rail link in the world once completed. It crosses beneath the Alps between Innsbruck in Austria and Franzensfestforteza in South Tyrol, Italy, as a particularly efficient flat trajectory low gradients. The tunneling team, a consortium of Austria's Strabag and Italian contractor Webbelt, 
recently completed a 16.7 kilometers long part of the high-capacity BBT project. This tunnel will provide a connection between the Italian city of Verona and Munich in Germany through Innsbruck. 61 meters and 4 centimeters in just 24 hours with a modern gripper TBM. The tunnelers at the Brenner Base Tunnel were able to set a new record in hard rock tunneling. The 170M long TBM machine from Herringknecht, dubbed Florence, is the first of 10 TBMS that will dig a total of 103 km of tunnels for Phase 1 of the HS2 network that is the most expensive infrastructure project in Europe. Phase 1 of the project, set for completion between 2028 and 2031, will connect London and Birmingham, with trains expected to run at speeds of up to 400 km per hour. The full network, running to Manchester and Leeds, will not be completed until at least 2035. The launch of the first giant tunneling machine on HS2 is not only a landmark moment for the project, but the groundbreaking evidence that shows our commitment to leveling up transport links across the United Kingdom, supporting thousands of jobs and hundreds of apprenticeships in the process. The largest crossover tunnel boring machine in China the biggest ever crossover XRE TBM to be used in China debuted in Guangzhou in March 2021. The 916 meters diameter Robbins TBM, which took five months to assemble. The hybrid machine is boring the 25 kilometer long Paju line, lot PZH1 of the Pearl River Delta Intercity Railway project, which will offer better commutes for Guangzhou residents traveling to and from University City. The machine will encounter various ground types during its bore, from moderately to strongly weathered argillaceous shales and sandstone to mixed face conditions. Much of the rock is fractured, while the quartz content is as high as 50%. The tunnel is also expected to cross under rivers and other bodies of water with a cover of 20M to 31M. The crossover TBM features both hard rock and earth pressure balance modes and is optimized for the rapidly changing ground found on the project. An adaptable cutter head design and two-speed gear reducers known as the Robbins Torque Shift System enable efficient tunneling in hard, mixed, and soft ground. There are many different projects going on globally, ranging from the extension and doubling of road and rail tunnels in addition to hydroelectric water projects but we mentioned some of them. We hope you enjoy watching the video. Feel free to leave us a nice comment and subscribe to the channel.